Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm reviewing the Elevated Craft Cocktail Shaker. The team from Elevated Craft reached out to me quite some time ago actually and offered to send me a couple of shakers and I said yes. I graciously accepted and they were very kind enough to have sent me two shakers. So I'm gonna run a giveaway. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out uh, and you can enter the competition. The shakers are worth about 65, 70 US dollars and uh, the Elevated Craft team have said that they'll send one out direct to, to someone and then one of these particular shakers I'll send out to my Patreon supporters. Uh, so if you are on Patreon, keep an eye out for a post and I'll leave some extra details there. Uh, if you're a Patreon supporter, you can enter both and you can have two chances uh, I believe I've got about a couple of hundred people supporting me on Patreon, so the chances are high that you'll you'll win one of these particular shakers. So, onto the uh, shaker review, my first review on the channel. Uh, so, Elevated Craft Cocktail Shakers, they launched, I believe, last year on Kickstarter, and they had about six and a half thousand backers, almost half a million US dollars raised to launch their, their cocktail shaker. There hasn't been a lot of changes or there's been minimal changes in regards to cocktail shakers and their design and the styles. Um, they're all pretty similar. There's either the two-piece or the three-piece cocktail shaker. And this is kind of cool. I, I like what this is. The fact that it's a cocktail shaker reinvented into to something unique. There's, as far as I know, there's nothing, nothing like it out there. I mean, you've got Yetis and thermoses that you could use for a cocktail shaker, but this is specifically designed as a shaker with a strainer um, and everything built in. So let's check this out. It's a insulated cocktail shaker. So it keeps your hands warm and the cocktail cold. Uh, it comes with this cool little uh, rubber rubber coaster, I guess. Uh, and it breaks down all the, um, the increments that you can measure. So you can measure as low as uh, quarter ounce or seven and a half mil all the way up to six ounce or 180 mil. So it's got a rather rather large measure. And I do like the fact that it comes with this because you can essentially use it like a coaster, store your shaker on it, serve a cocktail on it, and you've got to break down all the measurements that you need. So packaging is really cool. Uh, to tell you the truth, this come in a really nice uh, branded packaging, uh, paper wrapping, and I, had a sneak peek at it, so. Uh, it's got a little debossed Elevated Craft cocktail uh, emblem on the top. It comes with like, like nice little gaskets, gaskets, how you pronounce it, gaskets. It comes with a gasket and these are replaceable as well, so you can, uh, if you do have any issues with them, you can replace them, but I mean, and this is pretty thick rubber in there. I don't foresee that wearing anytime, anytime soon, so. Uh, the strainer itself in here, it looks quite fine. Easy to screw on. Feels like it's got a nice tight seal. I'll test that with the cocktail. So we'll, we'll see if there's any leaks. I'm not expecting it to, but just in case. And then this is this is really cool. I do, do quite like this. The fact that you've got so many different measurements in here. Um, the lines that you need to measure up to are quite thick. So I think it's a little bit difficult to tell exactly how much you're measuring or at least accurately measure. With the jiggers as well, I do prefer a tall, slim jigger because uh, if you make a slight variance with your measure vertically, then it's only gonna make a difference of one or two mil. But there's, because this is so big, it's got such a big circumference. If you're trying to measure two ounces, the circumference is literally twice the size of that. So it's gonna double or triple your variance. Um, but in saying that, you can measure a lot of different uh, amounts of liquid, which is cool. So I'll put this jigger away and make use of the, the lid here and make a daiquiri. Nice and simple cocktail, three ingredient. So I'm measuring 60 mil, two ounces. And it does actually have a flat lid and it's actually, it's really quite sturdy. So you can always sit that on the bench. So as far as I can see, that is Smack bang on the 60 mil line. So let's. How 
and it's pretty much exactly the same as my as my jigger. That was relatively accurate. I don't know what I'm saying relatively accurate. It was accurate. I did measure out 60 mil, two ounces. Uh, then we have some fresh lime. So this is where it becomes a little bit tricky. Uh, you have to work out where exactly the, the line is. So on the inside, it does say 30 mil, 60, 90, and so forth. One ounce, two ounce, three ounce. And then there's little lines on the inside. So you just need to, like once you start using the shaker, you'll become accustomed to where these lines are and you'll know which one is which. And you've obviously got the little coaster so you can, you can work that out. Was much in that. So 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice, as well as simple syrup. Load it up with ice. Screw on the lid and give it a shake. First of all, definitely no leaks. To me, this feels very strange, shaking a cocktail shaker and expecting and anticipating for it to get really ice cold and, and feel that frost on your hand. Um, I, kind of, I kind of like that. Some people I'm sure will appreciate the fact that this is insulated, it keeps your, your hands warm and the drink cold. But it's strange for from a bartender that's been making drinks for a long time to go to something like this. So straight into a chilled cocktail glass. So it definitely is a little bit slower. Um, I'd probably say considerably slower when you're, you're straining. Uh, I have seen a couple of reviews. I did see that someone said that they absolutely love the shaker, but often when they're making drinks for friends or a big group, they prefer to just use their Hawthorne strainer. So I, th I think this is um, a very useful shaker. Um, if you're making, if you're in a setting where you're making drinks for just yourself or a friend, uh, you're just making a couple of cocktails, it would work really nicely. Um, but in a high volume setting, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But there you have a daiquiri. Cheers. I mean, it's, it's not designed to be a fine strainer in the, in the top here. So I'm not expecting to strain out all the pip, pulp and ice shards. There's, there's a few little ice shards in there, but to me, that's not, not really a major deal. If you wanted to, you could use a fine strainer with it. So I do feel like I've been a little bit critical on this shaker. I do absolutely love it, but I, I think it has its moments. Uh, if you have a friend that's getting into cocktails and that loves their cocktails, this would make an absolutely great gift. If you're making cocktails at home for you and a friend, this would work really well. Um, you could do pre-batch cocktails and it's gonna keep the drink cold when you go for a picnic. That's going to be perfect. That's going to be the perfect environment, the perfect situation for this particular cocktail shaker. Um, coming from a bar environment, it's not going to be your fastest shaker to work with. Uh, but in saying that, I appreciate it. And I, I, I like the fact that this is uh, something quite inventive on a cocktail shaker that really hasn't been updated for a very, very long time. So if you guys are interested in grabbing yourself an elevated craft cocktail shaker, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go check it out. The reviews online, people absolutely love it. And I think it's worth checking out. Completely up to you. And if you want your chance to win an Elevated Craft Cocktail Shaker, make sure you check out the link in the description below. And if you're a Patreon member, keep an eye out. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. If there's anything you want me to review, let me know. Cheers.